guys welcome back to my channel I have been getting so many requests on hair tutorials on either how I curl my hair or how I wear at the gym with all my weird braids and stuff like that so I thought I would do one big tutorial on all the hair I do all the hairstyles I use when I'm at the gym um, some of them are not like timely, like they don't take that long, but I mean you do have to put a little bit of effort in and I feel like my shoulders at the end of this are going to be dead from braiding and everything like that. Whenever I do my hair in like a cute braid fashion, it's not usually just for the gym, I pretty much like leave it in all day and like that's my hair for the day. And it's nice and convenient, and especially when my hair gets like super greasy towards like the fourth day that I haven't washed it maybe seventh, I don't know. It's still like a cute way to wear greasy hair. I think you guys will find these helpful for those greasy hair days. If you do, be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel. And I feel like a lot of you have found me through Instagram, but if you haven't, if you're finding me through YouTube, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of workout videos and pictures and sometimes food, but a lot of my food is on Snapchat. And then I've been trying to post more on Twitter. Feel free to follow me there as well. The links are all down below in my description box and everything I show you guys today that I use for my hair, it's not a lot, but I will link it all down below. That being said, I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair. So right now my hair, I curled it yesterday and then I just kind of slept in it. So that's kind of what this is. I don't have a problem. I would totally wear it out like this, just like loose curls. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you how I go about curling it when it's like straight or crazy and wavy after like I shower or something like that. So to start, I section it off just cause I have quite a bit of hair. I wouldn't I'd probably do this the day after like right now because it's easier to touch up just for the sake of teaching you guys. I'm going to section off like I usually do. Put it in like a half pony little bun to keep that stuff out of the way. Sorry about my setup. This is really the best I could do with like a mirror in front of me so I could actually see what I'm doing. Don't you like a really nice comforter? <laughs> Blanket, that's about it. We move too much to invest in nice stuff. Oh, and this is the straightener. I use a straightener to curl my hair. Just because it, for me, it lasts longer and it just works a lot better. I don't know, and it gets me the curl that I want. Like, I don't really like generic curls with a curling iron. I don't know, I'm weird. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm talking about. I've used a straightener now for like probably five years to curl my hair. So this is what I use. Nothing specific. I think it was like, I wanna say this was like $40. Hopefully that's not upside down. It's totally upside down. Oh my God. <laughs> so it's a Hot Tools. Why don't you focus? Come on, buddy. Come on. Hot Tools. There we go. Straightener. It's a one inch and I keep it on like 400 and... 40. I'm honestly very lucky with my hair that I have naturally healthy hair. I don't have extensions. My hair's always grown like really well, honestly, and I really don't have any tricks for that because I think it's genetic or maybe it's just, I don't know. I feel like your hair won't grow. It might be like a nutrient deficiency or something, or maybe you just need like different hair treatments. I don't know. I'm not a professional. I think I'm just giving my opinion. So basically what I do is I just take a piece and I twist it around once and then I pull it all the way down, and there we go. I like to do smaller pieces. If it gets too thick, it kind of just slides out, and I have to redo it. And the reason I keep it so hot, you can probably see the steam. Can you? I can. Whew. If I do a lower temperature, it I mean, it works, but not usually as well. I usually have to go over it maybe like a couple times or it doesn't hold as well. And I feel like it's probably, for me, I feel like it's better just to do a higher heat and go over it once than a lower heat and go over it like two times. You know what I mean? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe again, I'm crazy. Again, not a hairstylist, but that's what I've learned in my years of doing my hair. See? Bigger piece. Screwed it up. Oh, damn it. All right. I'm just going to finish this and stop talking. is literally the best brush ever it's obviously meant for wet hair because it is called the wet brush I mean literally like the tangle queen right here 
And I use it when my hair is dry as well, just because it works and it doesn't hurt my hair as much. Or I'll use just like a regular comb. For product, um, I am now like the standards ambassador just for a few months and they gave me some shampoo and conditioner to try and I've used it like maybe four times now and they gave me the blonde shampoo. I don't even know what you call this brand. Arco? I don't know. I'll look it up. But they gave me the blonde shampoo so it has like a purple tint to it and then which I usually use purple conditioner and then they gave me the conditioner as well which also has a purple tint and it keeps my blonde nice and bright instead of like golden and yellow and then this they gave me same brand and it's the death valley dry shampoo and this stuff smells so good and it works really really well my hair i'm telling you guys like i go i wash my hair like once or twice a week and i can go so long with dry shampoo it's like a lifesaver my hair is usually like 90 percent dry shampoo i mean maybe that's maybe that's my secret maybe that's why it grows i don't know guys i want to tell you Okay, and I think we are done curling the hair. Sometimes I wear it in the middle and then sometimes I'll like wear it over here, throw it around, go a little crazy. That is how I curl my hair with a straightener. Hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit. I don't know, maybe it wasn't helpful at all. Sorry for wasting your time. But well, the next one we're gonna do, I had, so curling my braided bun and then regular braids and the braided ponytail which is kind of will go hand in hand with the braided bun so basically for these you're gonna know you're gonna need to know how to french braid which this summer i honestly never thought i would be able to do and i tried to get john to learn how and then i think he was like busy doing something and i got really impatient so i just tried on myself and it was really obviously it was like super loose and like i missed some hairs the first few times but i it was French braid and I did it and I just kept practicing and practicing and practicing and now I can just do it. Not really fast, but it's not that, it's not as hard and impossible seeming as it used to be. So honestly, if you're someone that thinks you'll never be able to French braid, just try it. If you know how to braid, all you do is add more hair. Literally, that's all you do. And then as you like practice and practice, you'll figure out like different techniques that help make it look better, like pulling less hair instead of more hair and like which way to go under and over. Oh, I'll do dust braids, I guess, too. Damn, my shoulders. <sighs> I'm gonna be rough. That's fine. All right. So I'm gonna start with the <laughs> the button. So I use these are really old and dirty and gross, but just little rubber bands to hold everything in place. So usually my hair would be like straight or like natural or something during this, but so I will part it down the middle. And for the bun and the braid, you don't have to go all the way back. Just need to go like part. But sometimes I will, I'll still put one half in like a ponytail just to keep it out of the way. I will start braiding this side. So this is gonna be difficult and weird. You gotta get closer so they can see better. God, I'm so obnoxious. Okay. So I take a little section from right here. So I'll divide it in two, three. And I always, no, it's getting hot. Okay, so camera operated, had to take a little break for a little while. Okay, so we're gonna grab this piece up front and divide it into three sections. Uh, for a Dutch braid, you would go under the middle piece. That's like the motto, like under the middle. I've tried Dutch on me personally. I like regular for the bun and the ponytail look. So I'm gonna do regular, so I go 
over. So I always start on this side. I don't know why. Preference. I always start right here. Go over the middle. Pull it tight. And I go over the middle on that side. Pull it tight. Now I'm back to this middle one. I'm going to grab a piece of hair. Not too huge, but not too small. So grabbing a piece of hair, and then I'm going to go over the middle piece with that piece. And then now it is this outside piece's turn for some hair. So I'm going to collect some hair on this side. And go over the middle piece with the outside piece. Gosh, my hair is really tangly right now. Okay. Now I'm on the inside again, and this is the only piece that hasn't gotten hair, um, added extra hair yet. So now I grab some hair from here, add it to that piece, and freaking rip the rest of my hair out. Trying to do so. Okay, so now, sorry, I'm just trying to, okay, so now I go over the middle with that one. And then I'm back to the outside. Grab some from there. And then go over the middle again. Then I'm gonna grab one as the last time for the point tail. One look. Grab one more. So I go to like the back of my head. So I'm, I'm going over again, and then I'm just going to braid the rest, a regular braid, and my shoulders are already on fire. Eh. Almost done. Here we go. Okay. You guys can hear these birds, but it makes you really happy. So it makes me kind of sad because I feel like they think it's spring, but probably gonna get slammed with snow again. All right. So now we have a French braid that goes into a regular braid, and then the rest of my hair is like just down, normal, whatever. So then I'm gonna do this side. So where are we are starting over. Why do I look so bright? Ooh. So you're supposed to do shoulder today. My shoulders are already... Wow, I just mumbled really bad. Sorry. What I meant to say was today was supposed to be shoulder day, but I think I'm gonna spend the day doing this and my shoulders are already shot. So we're gonna start on this side now and do the same thing. Alright, uh, this is what it looks like before I put it into a ponytail. So now that you have this, usually my hair would be straight, um, I just put it in a ponytail. And this is the final product. So that is the ponytail look. Sometimes I'll pull like my hairs out right here, not when they look like that. But I'll like curl them or straighten them. Something like that. All right, and then, oh damn, we have three more hairstyles I need to do. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my buns. So how I do my buns, this, I'll show you my top knot bun as well. But, so I'll just explain first because I'm facing away. So I basically, Put it in like a regular, like, 
like you're gonna do a ponytail but you don't go all the way through so then that bun is right there and then all that hair is still hanging off the end and then you wrap that hair around and then tie it all up so here we go There is the infamous bun, braid bun. I like it. And it's easy and you won't even know your hair is greasy. I'll tuck that back in. You guys, if you know how to do this, you know how to front braid. I feel like you just keep going all the way down. You know what I mean? But I will show you how I do Dutch braids. Take my handy dandy comb. I'm going to part down middle which it already basically is we're gonna go back 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 here go all the way down tie this up this time hopefully my part in the back is straight if not don't care got my handy dandy neutral her bands. same as last time we're gonna take this section it off into three parts Ooh. and then I'm gonna start but this time we're gonna go under the middle. So I'm starting on this side again, going under the middle with that guy, under the middle with this guy. We end up back inside, grab some hair, add it to inner piece. We're gonna go under the middle. This one takes a little bit longer to like actually start looking like a braid, but just keep with it and I promise it will turn out. When I go all the way down, French braids. I like them to be a bit looser. If you want them tighter, then take like less hair. Make sure you kind of brush them out so you don't get like little hoops that stick up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I gotta angle it this way. Instead of going straight back from the braid, it would be straight back your head if you want it kind of like angled on the side. You know what I mean? piece of hair from the back. I guess I can turn it off. Then I can't see. Sorry guys. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> My arm's already dead. Okay. Done. One side. Ah, oh, queen. What is this light? Chill out, man. Now the other side that I'm going to fast forward through because I just told you how to do the other one. See, the top looks kind of weird, but as you keep going, you got you a Dutch braid. Round two. Yes, we are done with the braids ish, kind of. 
So after I'm done, I'll always like go through and like um, loosen them like this, just make them bigger. <laughs> So my part is kind of messed up in the back on this one. I just saw because I tried to take a picture. And since my hair is curly, they look like all jagged and shiz, you know what I mean? But here is the final product. And now I'm going to take them out and show you how I do my top buns. And last but not least, my top knot. So. When I do my buns, I usually don't look in the mirror because whenever I look in the mirror, it turns out worse. I don't know why, it just happens, it's my luck. So I usually will like flip my hair upside down, pull it all up to wherever I want it, and then pull it through, wrap the rest around, whatever, I'll just show you. Okay, I'm going to, I'm not gonna go upside down just because you won't be able to see, but I'm gonna pull it all up to where I want it. I only use one hair tie for this, so I just get my hair tie, go over, so how, see how there's a little bun right here? You can make that as big or small as you want, I kind of leave it on the smaller side. Then I take the rest of my hair, so obviously my hair's longer, so I have a little bit more to wrap around, but if you have less or your hair shorter or whatever, you can wrap it around like once and then tie it. It doesn't need to go around 20 times. So wrap it around a couple times. Ah. Wrap it around and then pull the hair tie over the top. Usually goes a little smoother than that, but that is how I do it. They don't always look exactly the same, but I mean, it's quick and it keeps it all in place. Here's my little top knot so you can see the bun and then you can see the hair wrapped around. And that is all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned some new techniques for gym hair and cute, greasy hair day styles. Um, if you like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post a video, which I'm gonna work on doing more. I'm recording like two or three today, and then I'll have them up every like two or three days or something like that, so. Thank you guys again, and for all the products I mentioned and whatever I used, it is in the description box below. Thanks guys, bye.